This is my home. I live here with my daddy. Daddy. And my cousins. My dad's a choice footy player. One day, he's going to be in the big leagues. When are you going to be in the big leagues? One day, cuz. I live in Rotorua, New Zealand. It's a sweet lake. Me and my cousins fish there. See? Fish. These are my friends. Taika, Taika Hunui, and Greg. My school is. Hello? Uh huh. Tomorrow? Sweet. That was the Western Sydney Bullfrogs, an elite rugby league team who want me to come and play effective immediately. You know how I said I lived in Otsudo, New Zealand? Let's pretend that was 10 seconds ago. <laughs> 130 bucks. Welcome to Sydney. I haven't seen Auntie in a while, so just smile and be yourself, OK? OK, Daddy. Hey, Auntie. Hi. You're early. By three minutes. Early. Sorry. Can we come in? Come in. This is where you stay. Bathroom's through there. Don't use the bath, it doesn't drain. Toilet's through there. It's just a toilet. This is my movie shelf. No, my movies. This is where I work. This is the fridge. That's my shelf. That's yours. This is your bed. And this is yours. Fairies? Choice. Ocean views? Awesome. I've got to go to training. Can you take care of Mikey? Oh. Yeah. Like I'm dead, boy. You too, Daddy. Love you. Love you too. I'm Mikey. You're my auntie. So, how long have you been my auntie? How long have you been alive? Oh, about 10 years. About 10 years then? Speed as. How come we never met? You live over there. I live over here. Speed as. Thanks for the van bed, auntie. Oh, I was going to scrap it. You just saved me a trip to the tip. Oh. That's it. Let's go. OK. <laughs> So, what's your favourite colour? Blue. Sweet as. Favourite food? Eggs. Just eggs? Yep. Sweet as. Favourite animal? Ants. They're insects. Ants. Salute. Who's that guy? Elvis. The king. <laughs> My favourite singer. Really? Lunch. Thanks for the lift, Auntie. Pick you up after school. Yep. You're late. Lift, twist, pull. Lift, twist, pull. Ah, I got it coming. Ah. 
Michael, is it? Mikey's okay, Miss... Crapper? It's Crapper. The A is long. Oh, sorry, Miss Crapper. Ms. Crapper. Ms. Crapper. Where's your uniform? I just arrived here from NZ, Ms. Walk this way. Not much in your size. No worries, Miss. Try yeah. these. Hurry up. How do I look? Well, it's, uh... Tight. Good choice. So, are you like a teacher, miss? I'm the principal-elect. What's that mean? Means I will be the principal, but I'm not yet the principal. Promotion? Choice. What do you do now? Teach you. Patricia, back to your desk, please, darling. Lance, just, just prance back to your desk, please. Thank you, Miss Balm. You're welcome, Miss Crapper. 5B, please welcome your new classmate, Michael Mahaki. He's joined us all the way from New Zealand. Welcome him. Welcome. Good to be here. The name is Mikey. And although I might look like a big kid, I am 10, and I'm looking forward to getting to know you all. High school for giants is across the road. <laughs> Dang, wish I knew before I enrolled here. The Avengers Corps, they need Hulk back. Tell them I'm busy getting an education, bro. <laughs> Children, that's enough. Thanks, Mikey Man, for my tug of war team. He's so strong. <laughs> I said enough. Be seated. Sorry, bro. Sorry. Thanks, bro. No problem, Mahaki. Dismissed. Michael? Yes, miss? This is Tiffany Steelstone. She'll be your buddy. Tiffany, show Michael the ropes. My pleasure, Miss Cropper. Tiffany is one of the finest students this school has ever produced. Without great teachers, there are no great students. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to meet your delightful dads. Dads? Dads. Choice. Michael, is it? Mikey's OK. Mikey, cute. So, this is our classroom, OK? But you already know that. We have a whiteboard, we have charging docks. OK, listen, noob. Noob? Yeah, noob. It means new. Oh. Back to me. I have way better things to do at lunch than show you where the toilet is. You're on your own, tiny. Huh? Tiny, it's an insult. But I'm um, big. That's why it's funny. Because it's ironic. What? You're weird, OK? Thanks for the compliment. Point made, OK? Now, if you tell the crapper that I didn't show you around, you're dead meat. Bro. Mind if I join you, Mahaki? Sweet as. Lunch of champions. Yes, he has, but. Not if you tear and dip. Oh, tear and dip. Indeed. The name's Jerry. Nice to meet you. So you're from across the ditch? The what? The Tasman Sea. Huh? You're from New Zealand. Oh, yeah. Me and Daddy just got here. And Mummy? She's not around. First day's hard. Tiffany showed me around. Sort of. Short tour? Yeah. She did that to me on my first day. Hey, Jerry, look out! Jerry, check 
Marcus the ball. What are they playing? Only the finest test of skill ever invented. If you want to fit in around here, you got to learn how to play handball. Really? You need to get in line. I'm more of a spectator, right? Not today, you're not. The rules. We play four square here. The player in ace serves. So two ace? Precisely. Other three squares, king, queen and dunce. Hit the ball so it bounces in your square and lands in their square. Aim of the game, get an ace and stay there. Drag. Tip signature move. Only 16% of kids can return it. That is specific. Specificity is my middle name. Actually, it's Louie, but you get the gag. Out here, handball's in our DNA. Back home, everyone's obsessed with rugby. <laughs> She's like a super robot. At least a super robot has a weakness. She ever been beaten? Many have tried and failed. But there's still hope. Salwa. Oi, Tiny, you're up. You're toast. Hey, everyone, the noob's about to play. a bad idea. Good luck. Yeah, he'll need it. Yeah, good luck. First time's always the hardest. Lance, I'm psyching him out. Oh, sorry. But seriously, good luck. <laughs> Ace. That was some sweet spin, Tiff. Thanks. What happens now? You leave? Yeah. Next. Don't let it get to you. Tiff picks on 98% of new kids. Meh, water for ducks back. By the way, do you have a step for everything? Only 84% of things. I'm very excited to welcome two of Western Sydney's most elite socialites slash celebrities slash dedicated community workers slash property moguls who you've no doubt seen on billboards and buses around town. Please give a warm welcome to Jaden Steele and Bevan Stone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Jaden Steele. And I'm Bevan Stone. And together we are Steel and Stone Partners. You might be asking yourself... Why are two successful real estate magnates at your school? It's a good question, Jaden. Thanks, Bevan. No, look, the truth is we are thrilled to announce that we'll be sponsoring Steel and Stone's inaugural Western Sydney Handball Tournament. Or for short, Sassy, Sassy West Hat. Yes, thank you. Very exciting. OK, now this end-of-term tournament will see schools in the catchment area send their three best handball heroes to battle it out at Emu Valley's new sporting complex. It is a beautiful space, OK? However, there can only be one winner, OK? This is not a team sport. It's last person standing, OK? So that person will not only take home fame, glory and bragging rights, but also a steel and stone property evaluation and a Sassy West hat trophy like this. Oh, yeah, but that's a mock-up. Oh, it'll be much bigger on the day. Yeah. Um, so Twice the size. Register now to avoid missing out, OK? Just grab your little flyers. Here we go. One at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Incredible. I've been lobbying for a tournament for years. Why are you all so obsessed? You can be a nobody. But if you can play, you'll be a somebody. 
Do you, like, actually... I'm at a level B on merely playing. I see things others can't see. Gary, look out! <laughs> You all good, Jerry? Oi, Jerry, you okay? Impossible. Pure power and precision. You hit your head, bro? I've dreamt of a shot like that. The blade of destiny. What? Mikey, you just performed a handball miracle. Nah, bro, I was just making sure the melon didn't get mashed. I live in a world of cold, hard facts. Trust me, there's something special about you. Andy's here. Got to split faders. Good day? Mm hmm Good. Grab that. Yeah. Hey. Hey. What do you want? Um, uh, just some new numeral. No more. Uh, you need a cough lolly? That is how you say it. Oh, numero. Not bad. And some uh, hello wet. Hello with the jibbin. I was going to say that. Cheese, though, and clotted cream. Thought this was a sweet straw. Just try it. Holy lily. That seems good. So, Jerry says you're not to handle. You believe everything you hear, don't you? She's pretty intense. It's like she's in a cop show for grown-ups when she plays the main detective with a dark past. But won't talk to anyone about her feelings. But people don't mind, because in the end, she gets the job done. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. So, are you going to be in a sassy West hat thingy? Mm. Yeah. Thanks. Oi, take this. You'll need it. Oh, huh. choice. So, what was your name again? Salwa. Salad? We're just playing with you. Salwa. OK, I can't remember all the rules, but I'm pretty sure the aim of the game is to get the other person out. Like most games, boy. True. OK, I'll serve. You OK? Yeah. Big first day, that's all. You know what? Try one of these. It'll make you feel better. Oh, off cream, rotten cheese and magic rose petals. Mmm. Holy lily! Where'd you get those? Oh, Sawa, this kid at school, works at the Scox as bakery. Day was OK? Mm-hmm. Grab my bag, boy. Got you some prezies for your bedroom. Come on. <sighs> I know this move's been... <sighs> it's a lake. Sorry, Steady. Because we used to live near a lake. Got you those stars too. Did you like stars? Thanks, Daddy. Night, boy.
What did one ocean say to the other ocean? Nothing. They just waved. <laughs> <laughs>